So as you guys can see, Big Baby Cheater, aka Jarrell Miller, is uh, now currently with uh, Tyson Fury, part of uh, Team Fury, Fury, helping uh, Tyson Fury prepare for his uh, upcoming fight. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps with the video. It helps with the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I'm not a fan of uh, Big Baby Cheater uh, finding work. I'm not a fan in the, in the sport of boxing. Um, yep. Uh, <laughs> where do I start? First things first, to those who don't know yet, Big fight coming up on the 23rd of April, April 23. Uh, Tyson Fury defending his WBC and Ring Magazine belt against uh, Dillian White over at the Wembley Stadium to be shown live on BT Sport Box Office pay per view in the UK. And here, stateside, it will be shown live on Top Rank pay per view. So, um, you know, Fury and White are preparing for this fight. For this fight, White has been pretty quiet actually. He hasn't really, you know, posted up much. He's not really talking about this fight. But he is preparing from what I've heard. And, um, you know, Fury is out there still preparing for the fight. I, ma I made a video talking about his sparring partners recently. And I, I mentioned that Jared Anderson was one of the sparring partners. If you guys don't know, Jared Anderson was originally supposed to fight in the undercard of the Fury White fight. But Anderson suffered an injury. So he is no longer available. And I guess he also won't be available to spar uh, Tyson Fury. So they've had to find another sparring partner. And they found uh, Ger Gerald, Gerald Big Baby Cheater Miller. And uh, if you're wondering won wondering why I keep calling him Big Baby Cheater, because he is a cheater, uh, tested multiple times uh, for a banned substance when he was supposed to fight Anthony Joshua in Joshua's USA debut. Imagine if they actually fought each other. Joshua Chancellor would have probably knocked out Miller, but still, you know, the dude cheated. The dude cheated. Gerald Big Baby Miller is a cheater. I honestly think that he should be banned for life from the sport of boxing. But recently, there's there's some reports saying that as long as he keeps getting tested, um, you know, a, a commission will give him a a boxing license as long as he keeps getting tested. The man hasn't fought since uh, 2018. Um, it's been four years now. You know, does he deserve to get back inside the ring? Does he? Um, in my opinion, I, I honestly, I'm not a fan of uh, Gerald Miller. I'm not, I'm not. The dude cheated intentionally. Intentionally. And he tried to hide it. I mean, not tried to hide it, but he tried to, you know, to make it seem like he did not know about it. But he knew about it. He knew about it. He, he cheated, man. He, he was intentionally cheating. I'm not saying that every, you know, every fighter out there is clean because, you know, there's some accusations about Tyson Fury as well. Now, did he cheat Tyson Fury? It's possible. It's possible. Um, you know, anything's possible in the sport of boxing, but Miller got caught. Miller got caught. I know some people bring up uh, Tyson Fury that he got caught too, this and that, but um, you know, the, it's not that clear compared to freaking Jared. Gerald Miller. Um, I don't know, man. Some people think it's okay. Some people it's not. Um, in my opinion, uh, you know, Miller should find some work outside of boxing. Go back to kickboxing or something. I think he wasn't kickboxing, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. So, anyway. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.